Hey friends, it is a rainy day here. So what better thing to do than go to the bookstore? I am at Barnes and Nobles. I'm gonna take you through what books I pick out and then I'm going to talk about them. See you inside.
at home. I've got my books. I ended up buying seven different books. I went a little crazy, but I am excited to go through them. So first of all, I have Reminders of Him. This is one that I've been really wanting to read. I'm a huge Colleen Hoover fan. So the back of this, a little synopsis, after serving five years in prison for a tragic mistake, Kenna Rowan returns to a town where it all went wrong, hoping to reunite with her four-year-old daughter. But the bridges Kenna have burned are proving to be impossible to re rebuild. Everyone in her daughter's life is determined to shut Kenna out no matter how hard she works to prove herself. The only person who hasn't closed the door on her completely is Ledger Ward, a local bar owner and one of the few remaining links to Kenna's daughter. But if anyone were to discover how Ledger is slowly becoming an important part of Kenna's life, both would risk losing the trust of everyone important to them. The two form a connection despite the pressure surrounding them, but as their romance grows, so does the risk. Kenna must find a way to absolve the mistakes of her past in order to build a future of hope and healing. So that is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. Super excited to read this one. My library actually didn't have this book, so I was excited the bookstore did. So I love historical fiction. It is one of my favorite categories in reading, though maybe not the most popular across the country. It's one of my favorites. So I picked up this one. It's called The Yellow Birds. It's by Kevin Powers. It's a national bestseller. And this one is actually, I love reading about World War II, but this one was a book about the Iraq War. So this is what the description says. The war tried to kill us in the spring, begins this unforgettable account of friendship and loss. In an Al Taffer, Iraq, 21 year old Private Bartley, or Bartle, sorry, and the 18 year old Private Murphy have been dropped into a war neither is prepared for. When Bartle makes a promise to bring Murphy safely home, the two are inexplicably bound together. The young soldiers fight to protect each other from the insurgents' physical fatigue and mental stress as it come, that comes from the constant danger. As reality begins to blur, Murphy becomes increasingly unmoored, the, and Bartle must take actions he never could have imagined. With profound emotional insight, especially into the effects of a hidden war on mothers and families at home, the Yellowbirds might just be the first American literary masterpiece produced by the Iraq War. So, I decided to switch it up and read about something different, so I'm pretty excited to see how this book goes. So, The Yellow Birds by Kevin Powers. The next one I got was The Heart of the Deal. This is by Lindsay Macmillan. This one I got because she is actually a local author to a place that I grew up in, so I wanted to see how her book was. So it's like a rom-com book, excited to read it, and this is what the back of the book says. Ray is in a romantic recession. The Wall Street banker is single in New York City and overwhelmed by the pressure to scramble up the corporate ladder and romantic ladder. Feeling her biological clock ticking, she analyzes her love life like a business deal and vows to lock in a husband before her 30th birthday. The Manhattan dating app scene has been many up and downs as the stock market and the outsourcing dates to an algorithm isn't exactly Ray's idea of romance. She considers cutting her losses, but her friends help her stay invested, boosting her spirits with ice cream and cheap wine and they share that they share in their sixth floor walk up while recapping cringeworthy dates. And then Ray meets Dustin, a poetic soul trapped in a business suit, just like her. She starts hearing wedding bills, but Dustin's story is a complicated one, and no amount of financial modeling can protect or project what their future will look like. Can Ray free herself from the idea that she had of what 30 was supposed to look like and let love breathe its own timeline, or is she too conditioned to stay right on track and follow her unpaved in intuition? Moving funny, timely, the heart of the deal is a story of one woman's reckoning with what success really is in a city industry and a relationship whose low lows continually challenge the enchantment of the high highs. So this again is The Heart of the Deal by Lindsay McMillan. Next up, we have The People We Met on Vacation by Emily Henry. This one has been talked about a lot. I've seen it a lot over social media, so I decided to pick it up. Um, this author also wrote Beach Read, which I think a lot of people have also been reading. So here is what the back of the book says for the people we met on vacation. 
Poppy and Alex. Alex and Poppy. They have nothing in common. She's a wild child. He wears khakis. She is insatiable, wanderlust. He prefers to stay at home with a book. And somehow, ever since the fateful car share home from college many years ago, they are very best friends. For most of the year, they live far apart. She's in New York City, and he's in a small hometown. But every summer, for a decade, they have taken one glorious week of vacation together. Until two years ago, when they ruined everything. They haven't spoken since. Poppy has everything she should want, but she's stuck in a rut. When someone asks her when she was last truly happy, she knows without a doubt that it was on the ill-fated final trip with Alex. And she decides to convince her best friend to take one more vacation together, laying everything on the table to make it all right. Miraculously, he agrees. Now she has a week to fix everything. If she can get around the one big truth that has stood quietly in the middle of their seemingly perfect relationship, what could go wrong? So this one should be a little fun read. A lot of people have been talking about it, so can't wait to see what it's all about. Okay, as I said before, I love historical fiction, so I couldn't go to the bookstore and not get something else historical fiction. So this one is by Katie Quinn. It's called The Huntress. She wrote The Alice Network, which was one of the best books I read surrounding World War II. I thought it was beautifully done. So I'm super excited to read this. In the aftermath of the war, the hunter becomes the hunted. Bold, bold reckless Nin, Nina Markovo grows up on the icy edge of Soviet Russia, dreaming of flight and fearing nothing. When the tide of the war sweeps her homeland, she gambles everything to join the infamous Night Witches, an all-female night bomber regiment working ha wreaking havoc on Hitler's Eastern Front. But when she is downed behind enemy, enemy lines, and thrown across the path of a lethal Nazi murderess known as the Huntress, Nina must use all her wits to survive. British war correspondent Ian Graham has witnessed the horrors of the war from Omaha Beach in the Nuremberg Trials. He abandons the journalism in, after the war to become a Nazi hunter. Yet one target eludes him, the Huntress. Fierce, disciplined Ian must join force, forces with brazen, cocksure Nina the only witness to escape the Huntress alive. But a shared secret could derail their mission, unless Ian and Nina force themselves to confront it. 17-year-old Jordan McBride grows up in a post-World War II Boston, determined, despite his family's opposition, to becoming a photographer. At first delighted when her long-widowed father brings home a fiancé, Jordan grows increasingly disappointed by the soft-spoken German woman who seems to be hiding something. Armed only with her camera and her wits, Jordan delves into her new stepmother's past and slowly realizes there are mysteries buried in, deep in her family. But Jordan's search for the truth may threaten all she holds dear. Kate Quinn likes to write from a bunch of different perspectives, and I like that. So she'll do like during the war and then way past the war and kind of turn it all together. So it keeps it really exciting, and I can't wait to read the hundred. Okay, the last two I snagged because they are part of a trilogy. Barnes and Noble was out of the third book, but I figured I could start with the first two. And it is really popular right now because Amazon Prime just started a TV show based on this trilogy. So I wanted to read it and then watch the show and then maybe do a review according to the book versus the show. So the book is called The Summer I Turned Pretty, and it's by Jenny Han. And the next one was called It's Not Summer Without You. So I picked up one and two. I do They did not have three, so I might go back next week and grab three. So I'll just read the summary for one. When each summer begins, Belia leaves her school life behind and escapes to Cousins Beach, the place where she has spent every summer of her life. Not only does the beach home mean home away from home, but her favorite people are there. Susanna, her mother's best friend, and her sons, Conrad and Jeremiah. Belly has been chasing Conrad for as long as she can remember, and more than anything, she hopes the summer will be different. Despite distractions from the new guy named Cam and lingering looks from Conrad's brother, Jeremiah, Belly's heart belongs to Conrad. Will he offer his to her? Will this be the summer she changes everything? Here on the back of the book, it does say the last book is called We'll Always Have Summer. So that would be the third one. This isn't always my favorite type of book to read, but I figured I should try it out. It seems like an easy, quick little read, and then I can watch the show and compare notes for you guys. That is what I ended up grabbing from Barnes & Nobles today. Seven books, 
I am so excited to get to reading and once I get reading I am going to try to post some more blogs for you guys to talk about the books and what I liked and didn't like about them and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below what book you think I should start with. I am super excited to get reading and get chatting with you guys. Comment down below also if you've read any of these books and let me know what you guys think. Thanks everybody!